being in harmony with the way is like being an innocent baby whose bones are supple and muscles are soft, yet its grip is strong. A young one does not know about the union of male and female, and yet its manhood can stand erect and its energy is vibrant. It can scream all day without getting hoarse, and it is in tune with spontaneous emotions. The innocent child is also oblivious to what adults see as danger, such as poisonous insects, wild beasts, and birds of prey. To know this spontaneous energy is to understand the eternal. To know the eternal is to be enlightened. To be fresh as a newborn is to live from the eternal now, allowing each moment to be a new experience. Trying to control the heart's emotions can diminish the life force. Living in tune with the way allows the spirit to remain childlike. Those who know often do not speak. Those who speak often do not know. Close the mouth and quiet the senses. Temper your sharpness. Simplify your entanglements. Soften your brightness. Allow the dust to settle and be still to uncover your real identity. When one becomes like the way of life, one is not swayed by attachment or detachment, by profit or loss, by praise or disgrace. The way endures because it is not caught up in mind traps that attempt to define what is. Rule a nation or lead an organization with integrity. Direct the military in ways that are less expected. Lead as an example of effortlessness. Lao Tzu then asks, how do I know this? By observing how the more rules and regulations there are, the less people prosper, the more weapons there are, the less people feel safe, the more clever the strategies are to manipulate, the less people want to follow or unite. When too many restrictions stifle natural growth, people's thoughts turn to thievery or breaking laws. Thus a wise leader notices how, when one practices non-action, people often look to themselves for answers. And when one is quiet and practices non-interference, 
people often regulate themselves more naturally. And when one stops pushing for economic growth, people often prosper in more natural ways. Notice how, when one lives with less effort, people around them relax and return to a more natural simplicity. When a country is ruled with tolerance, the people live more simply. When a country is ruled with severity, the people become discontented and cunning. When trying to make people happy, you could be pushing them toward misery. Sometimes Happiness hides inner misery, and misery hides experiencing happiness. Also, fortunate times can turn into unfortunate times, and then an unfortunate cycle can return to a fortunate one again. Who knows what the future will bring? Thus evolve ones, act like a light that does not blind with its brilliance. They are precise without cutting, pointed without piercing, and straightforward without forcing. They live with a penetrating authenticity that does no harm. There is nothing better than moderation when governing or caring for others. Moderation includes a willingness to be open and a freedom from hardened opinions that cause reactions. It also involves gathering the strength of spirit and developing an inner wisdom when one is centered within inner strength, then nothing seems impossible. When nothing seems impossible, then one is open to unlimited possibilities. When unlimited, then one is ready to lead. When evolved leaders hold to the mother of all things, they can endure. Having deep roots in the balanced way creates a firm foundation for enlightened vision. <laughs>